Hey folks, another video of the Angry Photography here. I need to set the record straight on data archiving. Now we're not confusing backups with data archiving. Now there are two drawbacks to data archiving. Uh, DVD single layer discs are limited to 4.7 gigabytes of data. Obviously, DVD, uh, DVD media are given rough handling, prone to scratches and light degradation if not stored correctly. However, with the new cyanamide layers on the archival disks, that's not really a concern, but obviously in any regard, you're not going to be storing your disks out in the light. You're going to be storing them in Tyvek bags and in Ziploc bags or some other sort of humidity control bag and inside of a fireproof safe, fireproof safe or your vault. Uh, the advantages of your archival DVD professional blank media is that it's rated for an excess of a hundred years, no less than a hundred years. There are only two types of hard drives, by the way, and I love hard drives because I've got over 200 of them. A hard drive that has screwed you and a hard drive that will screw you. There is no exception to this. There are only dead hard drives and hard drives that will die. And when they die, they do this number to you. That's option number two. Dead hard drive and the hard drive that will die. Yes, that's exactly correct. DVD is not subject to mechanical breakdown. DVD archival media is not subject to ferromagnetic degradation. DVD archival media correctly sleeved and stored is currently a supreme storage methodology for archiving vital data. Crap you don't want to lose. I've got stuff I've been working on for 20 years. Nobody likes burning discs, okay? But how much is your time worth? It's like, oh my god, I'm going to spend an extra four hours writing my data to disks. Yeah, but what, it took you like, what, 20 years to create that data? Shut the hell up. Burn the damn disk. Okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. I have, a, I have an issue when it comes to data archiving. DVD media is once written and therefore free from data corruption if the write is correct. Most uh, DVD writing software has a validate option at the end. So once the disk is written, it validates, which means it scans through everything that was written to validate that it is on the disk. Most DVD writing software like that uh, uh, currently uh, does that. DVD media, DVD media is the perfect, or Blu-ray, although you have to buy a commercial Blu-ray. The thing about Blu-ray is that the consumer level Blu-ray burners are not reliable. The commercial ones are. So unless you want to spend a fortune on a commercial Blu-ray burner, that's your option. DVD media is the perfect ideal methodology of freezing and isolating old copies of data for reference in case newer generations of data becomes corrupted and older copy is needed to revert to. It is the best ideal fourth platform redundancy for data protection and it is level three highest security of data archiving for your vital data. By the way, these are Teo Uden DVDs by JVC. I gave you the link on these. There are counterfeits of these out those counterfeits of these out there. I gave you the link on where you can get them where they're not counterfeit. I have no connection to the seller, so don't accuse me of trying to pimp anything. The real Teo Udens, you see that ring about an inch from the center? That validates that it is a genuine Teo Uden. The fakes do not have that black ring. You see it right there? These are the reject ratio on these is over 10 times less than consumer grade DVDs. These are once written to and stored in nice you should buy by the way, when you buy archival DVDs you should buy a pack of Tyvek sleeves, okay? Tyvek. T Y V E K. It's very cheap, 50 pack, 100 pack, whatever. Once written to, you've got 60 years of data protection here guaranteed. Stick in your Tyvek sleeve, stick it inside a Ziploc, stick it in your little fireproof vault. Protect your important crap. Okay? There's an extremely important reason also why you should not burn DVD minus, uh, DVD minus R discs. The methodology of actually how the DVD minus versus the DVD plus is differentiated is somewhat complicated, but in simplicity, since your data is so valuable and you need to store it on the proper media, you need to be burning it onto DVD plus R. 
Uh, DVD minus R is inferior for data pre preservation for several reasons. Error correction, wobble tracking, and writing methodology. For a DVD to track where it is on the disk, it uses three things. The wobble of the data to track to tell where it is in the track, the position of the track to tell where it is on the disk, and some additional information where on the disk to tell where the track begins and ends. On DVD minus R media, the A tip is stored at a frequency modulation within the wobble itself. Since the wobble changes uh, subtly to encode data, it is impossible to use with small size track DVD requirement. As the electric noise in the, ladder, in the laser pickup and wobble is introduced by the electrical spinning motor of the disc, these could easily be read as frequency changes in the real track itself. On DVD minus R, this is a problem that is attempted to be solved by pre pits where spikes in the amplitude of the wobble appear to uh, the pits as fully out of phase to the rest of the track between the two spirals of the track where there is no data. This can be viewed as a simple improvement over C, uh, CD minus R as it makes it easier to track the wobble. This methodology, however, has one huge flaw. Due to electric noise and laser pickup, it would be very easy to miss the pre-pit or read one that wasn't actually there if the disc were damaged or spun up at fast speeds. It's fast speeds. The DVD uh, minus R uh, are uh, traded hard to track uh, frequency changes for a hard to read wobble encoded data. On DVD plus R's like these, which is what you should buy for your data archiving, there's a better write methodology. Instead of changing the, uh, the frequency of the wobbler, causing amplitude spikes in the wobbler, used to complete phase changes, whereas the DVD minus R methodology makes you choose between either easy wobble tracking or easy A-tip reading. DVD plus R methodology makes it very easy to track the wobble and also very easy to encode the data in the wobble. DVD plus R methodology is called ADIP or address and pregroove. Uh, the third reason why DVD plus R uh, burn discs are better is that ATIP prepit ADIP uh, store information about optimum power control settings. DVD minus R basically fails on all three accounts because DVD plus R simply includes far more information about the media in the ADIP data than the DVD minus R does in its prepit data. Therefore, DVD plus R includes four optimum profiles for data archiving, one for four major burning speeds. Each of these profiles includes optimum power output based on laser wavelength, more precise laser power settings, and other additional information. With this information, any DVD plus R burner can therefore far more optimize its burning strategy to fit the media than can be done with DVD. The, sh the long and the short of it is you need to be uh, burning your crap on DVD plus R. I think you get the point there, right? Uh, here's another little thing to make things easier. If you've been wedding photography, you're going to start offering uh, DVD archival uh, discs. Now these are rather cheap. Now this is a one in three, which means you got one disc that has data on it, and it makes three instantaneous copies. So you're burning one disc to three. Um, these run about 140 bucks. Now the great thing is, now this is all I needed was a one and three. But if you wanted like a one and seven, you're only talking like about 50 bucks more. So the tower is twice as big. It's actually over twice as big, but the cost is not that much more. So you're talking like 150 bucks for a one and three. Uh, uh, one in three DVD burning tower versus like a one in five or a one in seven. Watch, well, it's like eighty dollars more for a one in seven. Anyway, these are the JVC TL units. Doesn't matter if you buy a 16x. Let me look at the label here. You can find these on Amazon too. Okay, I am guarantee they're there. I know they are. The part number is JDPRZZSB16. These are silver lacquered. They're made in Japan. These are the premium optical quality burning discs. They're plus our lacquered 16 speed. There's 100 pieces here. Uh, so 4.57 gigabytes single layer discs. Like I said, nobody likes burning DVDs. I don't like burning DVDs either, but that's not the point. The point is saving your crap. Okay, and everybody asks me, well, how do you make things really simple? Well, I'll stick things in folder. It'll be like, you know, June 12th, 19, uh, 19, uh, uh, 2014. Okay? That'll be a folder. That's the day I took shots. And I'll take a snapshot of that disc and call this disc number, I don't know, 978. By the way, you never use labels. You never hold a disc like this either. You'd be holding it like this. So what you saw me just do was wrong. 
This will be disc number 978. Sharpies only, no stickers on your discs, okay? Because that causes those have acid in them and they can leach into the top layer. People think this layer is important, which it is for scratches and light, but this back layer is actually extremely important. It's actually more important than the front layer. This is actually a thick layer before you get to the data. This is a thin layer up here before you get to the silver backing. The, the, the lacquer and the silver backing where the data is underneath that and the cyanamide layer. Say this is disc number 978. I make a record saying, well, on disc number 978, I've got blah, 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 blah. And I'll stick in a burner like this. I'll make two copies, so I've got redundant copies. So once I burn the disc, I'll just pop it in here and hit burn, and it'll burn copies, and that's great if you're a wedding photographer. you got family who's going to make multiple copies. You're like, oh, shit. I don't want to make multiple copies. It takes too long to burn a disc. Great. You just pop it in here, hit the burn button, and it'll burn however many copies you got, want. you got a 1 and 3, 1 and 5, 1 and 7 burner. Make things simple. Remember never to touch your disc surface. Only handle your disc like this. Duh, do I have to mention that to anybody? Get Tyvek sleeves. Very simple. Um, never use labels on these. Like I said, acid transference. You don't want that to happen. Just use Sharpies. And every disc I'll have like a file on each disc. Say there might be five files in here of like, I don't know, four days of picture shooting, right? Or whatever the hell. Then I'll have that uh, master file here, what every other disc has, and every progressive disc has that file with additional information. Make things simple. You know, like say on this, uh, I don't know, this is uh, what is on uh, this disc. Uh, there we go. Uh, right. No, 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 <laughs> no. Little humor there. Um, so, and I told you in the prior video why Apple removed optical drive. Optical it and dead, girls and boys, okay? The only way to correctly keep your crap safe, and literally, I, I can actually say I literally wrote the book on magnetism. I never thought I'd actually be able to do that many, many, many years ago, but I can't say it now. The only way to protect your crap is optical, okay? Large businesses are going to that for cold storage of data long-term preservation there's still a huge booming business but you're talking about serious money in tape backup yes boys and girls 3m still has a multi-million dollar business in tape backup big businesses are still and then you talk about extreme humidity and temperature control on that you're talking about uh, uh, temp and humidity controlled rooms where they're storing huge amounts of uh, data on tape tape is actually still a current methodology for data archiving believe it or not there's a huge business in that for big business only for you boys and goyles your data is protected right here okay commercial uh, consumer grade the blu-ray burners are not reliable if you want to spend a fortune on a commercial blu-ray burner that's another thing some people do it if you got the money do it most don't this is a perfect wedding option. Look at how important is your crap. I mean, at least you could do is buy a stack of this crap, okay, and protect your crap you've been working on for 10, 15 years like I have. I am not losing 10, 15 years of my hard work, nor should you, because your ass is too lazy to spend 40 bucks on a stack of archival DVDs and spend a few hours burning that crap, okay? Maybe your grandchildren want that really important stuff like the will, the pictures of dead mother, dead grandmother, you know, all that really important crap that can't be lost. Arr! Burn the crap. Okay, stop scratching your balls. Burn some archival DVDs plus ours. Okay, and I want to hear from anybody telling me optical is dead. Kiss my ass. Okay, only two types of hard drives: that have, those that have screwed you and those that will screw you. Only two types of hard drives: the dead ones and the ones that will die. Catch you later.